Where we go, go, you go. Introducing the cat. Hugo. Hey everyone, don't forget to work out, it's important. I'm lifting some weights to stay fit. So, okay. Today I'm gonna tell you how I ended up playing bass in the trouble notes. Listen carefully, take a pen, take some sheets, write it down, it's important. <laughs> <laughs> So, in 2015, I moved to Berlin on my birthday to join an Australian rock band called the Sun Pilots. Before that, I lived in Vienna and I was going to a lot of jam sessions. At one of these jam sessions, I met a very nice and handsome gentleman called Adil. So, one day, Adil messaged me and said, Yo, Stefan, I've seen you at the jam session. I like your playing. I'm playing in this band called the Sun Pilots from Australia and I'm gonna quit and I thought you could be a good fit for this band. So on my 23rd birthday, I moved to Berlin to join this band, thanks to Adil. I'm gonna come back to that later, that's important. Write it down. On my birthday, and on my very first night in Berlin, I went out drinking with the Sun Pilots to celebrate my birthday and that's when I met the Trouble Notes at a bar called Fitches Vogel. We got drunk, we had a nice time, we started talking, it was all cool. And I stayed in Berlin for two and a half years and over that time we always connected and went out and we talked, we played a sh few shows together. And two years ago I moved away from Berlin, I went back to Austria, I stayed there for a while. And at one point I met my dear friend Adil again and he said, man, the trouble notes are coming to town, they asked me to play a few songs with them, I don't have time, do you want to do it? And I'm like, hell yeah, I'm gonna play with the Trouble Notes. I haven't seen these guys in ages because they were touring, they were going to the US, they were all over the place doing amazing work. So I connect, reconnected with Bennett, he sent me the set list, I'm like, cool, this is when I'm gonna play. We reconnected at the show in Vienna, thanks again to my friend Adil. And from then on, it started rolling, basically. I came to, I went back to Berlin to play a show with them. I went to Prague to play another show. And then in January, so a few months ago, I moved back to Berlin for another band, which is this time the Trouble Notes. And the rest is history. Yeah, that's it. Did you write everything down? Did you do your workout? I don't know, I love you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Have a nice day. <laughs> Now man, 200 bring it! Good. Block it away! <laughs> away. Can't match my style, can't block me! <laughs> I always felt like, even though we had, as a trio, like a really big sound, I always felt like we had to produce Whenever we produced records and whenever we made music, it, it, it always felt like we were we were we either um, wrote music that was very raw, in which case you know it was the three instruments live performance, or we like had in the case of the Lose Your Ties albums, it was like just this really massive sound that we felt like we could never recreate on a stage without like a nine-piece band, right? And I think what's super interesting about what's happening now is that we're getting a sound that is as big or similarly large in, in its feeling as the, the Lose Your Ties album, but this is like completely possible to play live. Like there's nothing, no extra instruments or anything that we've brought in to this point where you're like, okay, like we would never be able to do this the same way live. Like we could theoretically perform the songs as you hear them on these recordings on a stage in, you know, tomorrow. What do you recommend people? How, how should people stay sane these days? Just call up some friends that you haven't spoke to for a long time. Someone who, I don't know, maybe you're single. Maybe that person now has a wife and kids and all that sort of, sort of stuff. Maybe they're waiting for you to call them. Maybe you're waiting for them, but be that person just like, Send that text, make that call. I don't know, it's fun. Someone in your family you haven't spoke to a long time, you thought they might never work again. It's kind of like a reset time. So when by the time we're all allowed out again, maybe you'll appreciate fresh air, maybe you'll appreciate that person again, maybe you'll be like, fuck me, I might never see that person again, or I can't see that person for three months, or it could be an animal, I'm not just talking about people, it could be anything. I don't know, just try and fix it and fix yourself, that's what I'm trying to do. So when I go back and get
dip back into whatever it's going to be. It could be summer, it could be winter by the time we roll out again. I have no idea. I have no idea. So I have no, no idea to how I approach it, but just wake up in the morning, kind of feel happy, text my girlfriend, text my mom and my dad and my sisters, make sure everyone's okay. And that's it. And get into the studio. I'm lucky I have a band here, beautiful people around me. We all care about each other. We all eat together. We all have some lunch. And we get to have some sunshine and beautiful space. So I'm very lucky and very happy to to be out here but I feel for all my friends that are locked down in Berlin and and all over the world so and I can't wait to see you all again and have a nice cold beer and sit in the park and have a picnic and go to some bars together maybe do a concert again this summer it's really sad that most of our concerts are getting cancelled most of our festivals are being cancelled we had some big ones this summer like Glastonbury and uh, for me that's a huge one being uh, being from England I love that place um, other stuff like that. A lot, everything's getting cancelled, but maybe the world needed a year to reset itself. Maybe so did I, maybe so did everybody, just to think about things and be like, right, I have this time to restructure myself and to be a better, better version of, best version of myself I can be.